you know, Dave, you need a thick skin in this business. And um, they took some of it personally. It shouldn't have come to this, says Hudson County Commissioner Bill O'Day. The county's contract with ICE was supposed to end this year. O'Day, who voted against a two-year extension in 2018 and against the 10-year extension that was voted on in November, said the county was expecting to finalize a contract to house inmates from Mercer, which in theory would have negated the need for the extension with ICE. When that deal fell through, says O'Day, the onus should have been on the county to figure out a compromise. And quite frankly, I mean, what they should have done is come out and say, look, we wanted to get out in two years. We haven't been able to finalize this and ask for a short, reasonable extension to try to resolve the issue. Instead, it just got rammed through two days before Thanksgiving at a daytime meeting with almost no notice. The reaction in Hudson got personal. In one instance, Commissioner Anthony Romano was accosted outside a diner in his district and protesters badgered the Hudson County executive from outside his home to the point where several were arrested after violating a restraining order. The things that have been said to me and, you know, the attitude that they have that we can talk to you however you want to. And it, it pushes the moderates almost to the side. To be surrounded by 30 people come charging at you when you exit a vehicle is a scary thing. But tactics have changed now, and advocates say the detainees at the Hudson facility have now joined hunger strikers in Essex. The total, they say, is around 144 men refusing to eat until they're released. Tanya Matos of the New York-based Freedom for Immigrants says the county's treating the detainees like human commodities. Well, they are making money off of these bodies. They, they are very glad to take money to, to house people, to pay their, to, to, to pay their paychecks, um, to, uh, for the counties to make money off of them. Counties are making millions of dollars off of these people's lives. Um, and so if they're willing to participate in that way, they are responsible. There is a hope that a new administration in Washington will usher in a new approach to immigration enforcement, as articulated by the governor this week. But advocates say rather than wait around for a change in policy, they hope to force the issue. If my math is right, we have 16 days of this administration left in Washington, and I believe we will turn a very meaningful page uh, in our whole immigration mindset uh, with uh, President Joe Biden. As we know, the new administration is coming in to, um, to office, and so we want this uh, to grow, these hunger strikes to grow. That is a demand that the hunger strikers have. They want us to help organize other hunger strikes across New Jersey. O'Day believes there's room for an interim deal, one that would cap the number of detainees the county could take and shorten the length of the contract with ICE. But he concedes that positions may have hardened too much for that. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.